Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville covering everything Predators, Admirals, and Florida Everblades related. We are brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can get all your hockey apparel, uh, refereeing gear, and figure skating gear, and you can visit them at Mo uh, HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. I almost botched there, so yeah, it's HockeyRockerMilwaukee.com. Or you could call them at 414-800-7585. Or you could visit them at 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can also go over to our YouTube page, hit subscribe, click the little bell. You got one of these, it's sitting right there, or it's attached to your laptop, or you have your phone, all you gotta do is push a button, there's a little bell. Click, click the bell that. on YouTube. It don't click make a noise, but it will notify you whenever we go live. So, go check that out. Also, go hit me up on Instagram uh, from Milwaukee to Nashville. Or go find him on Facebook at Christopher Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of you already know how to find me. Yeah, I know, right? I've had Unless you're I've, at a hockey game. <laughs> I've had so many new additions to my friend list, probably because of this podcast. I right. appreciate it because my friends list keeps growing and growing. All right, so today the Predators played the Winnipeg Jets, who coming They're into, missing Dustin Bufflin, and I feel like that's hurting them, personally. It may be. Because he was one of their best players. Like, him and Wheeler were, like, their top offensive guys, and then, obviously, you had Halibut in that, so. Um, so today, if you would like to take a shot at your stats and how you're going to look at them. Well... Like usual, the power play was pretty garbagey. I mean, all for two for Preds, all for three on the Jets. I mean, um, I mean they were hitting physically, but that always happens during uh, the Preds and Jets. It's like they have this rivalry, so they always play each other tough. You notice for a fact, it's almost like a playoff game every time they play. Um, I mean, other than that, uh, shots were pretty even. Yeah, shots were pretty even. I mean, it was a good game. Um, the only thing the Jets did poorly was giveaways 19 to 8. Yikes, yeah. Um, and the Predators out blocked Well, I don't know. Two. The giveaway stat doesn't really take away how the game ended. I mean, it did go to overtime. Yeah, but it could have gone the other way had they not given up the puck so much. Had They would have had more chances had the puck, they not given up the puck yeah, so much. True, so the, those things do take into consideration. Yeah, well, anyways, uh... The Predators did what they needed to do. Uh, they got two points, you know, to get the victory today, uh, two to one in overtime. But on the downside is they give another point to Winnipeg. And isn't Winnipeg one of the teams that we're currently battling? Um, yes, but in that case, they were only a point ahead of us, so now we're tied. Yeah. Um, so scoring in the first uh, was Mason Appleton, Wisconsin boy, uh, scored his... Third goal of the year with an assist from Nikolai Ehlers, his 23rd, and Sammy Niku, his 4th. Then uh, Nick Benino scored his 16th with an assist from Rocco Grimaldi. There was nothing in the 2nd, nothing in the 3rd, and the overtime winner was Mikel Granlin with his 11th with an assist from Matthias Eckholm, his 23rd, and Matt Duchesne, his 24th. Um, goaltending was UC Saros, stopped 33 of 34. Saros played his heart out on that today. Yeah. They were, they were going to his weak side a lot, and he was shutting them down, so he did his job. Uh, stopping 33 of 34, like I said, with a save percentage of .971. Why can't you guys play like this every night? All right, so Connor Halbuck was in net. He stopped 34-36 with a .944 save percentage. Referees were Dan O'Halloran and Brandon Baldina. Oh, uh, Dan O what? Halloran. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to send that guy a tweet. Um, the, See if his dad's a referee. Out of curiosity. Um, All right, man, keep going. A linesman were Balvin Mills and Ryan Galloway. Any relationship to Drew Galloway? <laughs> <laughs> um, head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Head coach for Winnipeg is Paul Maurice. For now, I believe if they don't make the playoffs, he will be gone. Um, 
scratchers for Nashville is Yanni Weber, Kelly Oncrock, and Austin Watson. Um, good news for the Predators. Uh, Bynell skated this morning, so that's good news. Yeah, um, but he's still probably no contact currently. Um, and then guess. Winnipeg scratches were Cameron Schilling and Nathan Bellew. Yeah, but I think the uh, Jets are definitely hurting without Buffalo. And now they're going to let him go. Yeah, what a waste. But hey, it's Winnipeg. Let them deal with it. All right, so with today's games concluded. We're still on the outside looking in, but not by much. The Preds have a game, two games in hand against Arizona, and they're only two points behind. Yeah. They have one game in hand against Calgary, and they are three points behind. Yeah, the Predators are currently the first team on the outside looking in as far as the playoffs go. And then, as far as our division goes, they are seven points back with no games in hand. But, I mean, anything can happen. Well, where's Winnipeg currently sitting? Behind us. They're tied. We're all uh, tied. But, but we have games in hand against these teams. Yeah, and the fact that we beat Winnipeg tonight, that like bumps us up. So Nashville's uh, record now is, uh, they have 52 games played. They are 25-27, or 25-20-7. They're currently 6-4-0 and oh in the last 10. So, not horrible. Um, up next for our podcast. Tomorrow. Tomorrow we have the Grand Rapids Griffins here in Milwaukee against the Milwaukee Admirals. Grand Rapids is the farm team to the Detroit Red Wings. No, no, the Detroit Red Wings are the farm team to the Grand Rapids Griffins. No. Hey, I hate these. I hate the Griffins, I hate the Wolves, and I hate the Moose. I'm not going to change that, okay? I'm a fan. I am. Oh, I um, a heads teams. up for our show tomorrow. We will be talking about the Chicago Wolves uh, issues. Yeah, and those are going to make me happy because it's good to hear that they're having issues. Um, but we're going to keep it as professional as possible. I'll try. I'll try. As All right. much as I hate the wolves, griffins, and moose, I can't I can't, uh, state that enough. So I got no beef with Rockford. Their mascot right, so, choked me on camera. I'm happy so I hope you don't stuff. mind, but I'm going to do a little tweaking, do a preview. Have at it. I tweaked away. I delivered the stats. I'm trying to get watch time. All right, so this this year the Admirals are four and three against Grand Rapids. They're kind of a thorn in our side. They've always been. Um, in our last game, Grand Rapids beat us three to two. Um, in the last two meetings, they've beaten us three to two. Um, before, right after the holiday break for um, the holidays. Yeah, the last meeting was on January eighth. In case anybody's wondering. Um, and uh, they Admirals won on December twenty seventh, three to nothing, and on November twenty third, five to nothing. So it all kind of depends on which team shows up, I guess. Yeah. Also are you, are during you that, get the Red Wings, or are you gonna get the Griffins? Because the Red Wings are the easier out. And um, they have to take a shot at them. That's what I do. Um, the one thing I did want to say about that, you know, December twenty eighth through January eighth, the Admirals were in flux because guys were going like this. A lot. So yeah, because there was a lot of issues going on in uh, Nashville. In the last five seasons, the Admirals are 19, 24, 2, and 2. Uh, the Griffins' leading scorers I'll are... Take this. I'll take this. See how you took that bar. All right, Chris Terry, uh, he's the leading scorer with 17 goals, 24 assists. Uh, Matt Pumple, 13 goals, 16 assists. Uh, Dominic Turgeon... Uh, 10 goals, 10 assists. Uh, Joe Hicketts, 2 goals, 18 assists. And then Matthew Ford, 8 goals, 12 assists. <coughs> All right, the leading scorers for the Admirals are still as follows. Daniel Carr with 19 goals uh, and 22 assists for 41 points. Uh, Cole Schneider for 13 goals, 23 assists for 36 points. Alexander Carrier, 4 goals, 26 assists for 30 points. Uh, Tommy Novak, 8 goals, 22 assists for 30 points. At Rem Pitlick, 15 goals, 13 assists for 28 points. In the last five games, uh, Grand Rapids is 3-2. and two. 
Their last game, they played Iowa on the 31st of January. They lost 4-1. to one. You could do their goalies. I'm looking to see if they have any players that are currently red hot or anybody we should really worry about. Currently, nobody in their top five. The Admirals are currently riding a five-game win streak. Um, in their last uh, two games, they've scored seven goals apiece. And the game before that versus Rockford, they scored four. And the game before that, they scored seven. So seven seems to be the lucky number. Um, so we'll see what, what happens. Are they going to get burned out? What happens? I mean, every once in a while, a reality check is a good thing. But uh, Dominic Turgeon has two goals and an assist in his last five games. Okay. Yeah, he's current. Right now, it's not that great for Grand Rapids. I wouldn't worry too much about him. All right, so uh, their goaltenders this year have, well... A lot of them. They've been kind of playing hot potato with the goalies a bit. But their two mainstays are Calvin Pickard. He has 26 games played, two shutouts, a 2.87 goals against average, and a .903 save percentage. Uh, their backup goaltender right now, to my recollection, is Pat Nagel. He has 10 games played with a 2.32 goals against average, three wins, five losses, and one overtime loss with a .915 save percentage. By the way, I forgot Calvin Pickard's wins. He has 14 wins, nine losses, and three overtime losses. Did he do Grand Rapids last 10? Um, marking, I'm getting there. Oh, because I'll do that once you're done with the goalie. Done. Oh. All right, in the last 10 games, Grand Rapids is 6-2, 0-2. Milwaukee's 9-1, 0-0. Uh, Grand Rapids currently has a season record of 20 victories, 21 regulation losses, 2 overtime losses, and 4 shootout losses. The Admirals are currently 33-8, 4-2. Best team in the league, but you already knew that. Um, home record for the Griffins, 11-9-1-3. They suck on the road, 9-12-1-1. Uh, one one. Milwaukee at home is 17-3-1. Yeah, um, two of their, ro their uh, losses come uh, at home versus Grand Rapids. Yeah. So Grand Rapids accounts for two of their regulation losses. Yeah, but they've only lost a total of five times at home. Um, they've lost... From They've lost a total of nine on the road, the Admirals. So, okay. Grand Rapids, they suck on the road. Admirals are good at home. I'm, and seeing how it's the Admirals, I'm just going to say chuck this up as another victory. I'm an Admiral fan, what can I say? It, All right, um, on yeah. another note. Um, on the power play, I guess they're 37 for 186, Grand Rapids. I mean, um, throw out some stats there, you know, why not? Um, their goals against differential, uh, they have 52 goals, uh, 152 goals against, 132 goals for. Wait, who? Grand Rapids. According to this, goals against 148, goals for 130. Not according to the... I'm looking here, and it's the same thing as you. You're get, We're getting two different numbers here. Yes, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, because like but legit goals against, they've given up 148 goals for 130. Milwaukee's only given up 103 goals, and, and they scored 160. Um, 165. I don't know what that's giving you, but according to this, they've scored 165. Okay, maybe this is just uh, not as up to date as I assumed it would be. Grand Rapids didn't play today, so. But still shouldn't. Yeah, see? Yeah, but as you see, I'm getting the same thing. Yep. They have two goals for um, in their last game. I guess they're not giving you the last weekend stats for that. Huh. Um, so, yes, they've given up 152 goals and scored 132. The Admirals have given up 105, scoring 100. And 56. Right now, the Admirals are currently um, 12 points ahead of the Iowa Wild. Um, and what's uh, where? What's their point cushion in the entire league? Uh, currently, they have an eight-point lead, but a game in hand against uh, oh, yeah. 
Belleville. So. Yeah, because we are we are beat Belleville, the wise community. So, depending on how Hartford does in their next game, because they have a hand, game in hand against, as far as um, you know, the overall league title. Yeah. Um, they have a game in hand. So, but we still have about an eight point cushion. Um, Belleville is eight one and one in their last ten. When was the last time the Admirals uh, had the best regular season record? Club Cup year. Really? Yep. No wonder Greg uh, keeps saying that this is a special year brewing. And our I record, hope that don't backfire. Our record uh, this year is actually a lot better than... Um, Crap. The green screen's all being stupid again. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, that's all we got for you tonight. Uh, like he said, we're going to be coming back at you tomorrow. We're going to have Matt back on the show because he's going to be covering the Everboys because, you know, he is our Everboy correspondent. Uh, happy birthday, Andy, if you are watching. Yep, happy birthday, Andy, to... Uh and uh, congratulations. Yeah, congrats on the news, I've heard. Yep. Um, His family's growing. Yep. That's uh, a good thing. Did you tell them that you're... Oh, crap. Nope, I'm going to wait on that until I know more. Oh, okay. Get past the danger zone. <laughs> danger zone. You set me up, man. I know. Um, but we are from... Uh, Dude, what's <laughs> up with the notification, buddy? That ain't cool. I don't know, but it keeps blocking me out. All right. Um, from Milwaukee to Nashville, we are... <laughs> a hockey podcast covering... Uh, uh, Predators Nashville and Admirals Milwaukee. Why are you doing everything backwards? Must talk, talk like Yoda, I must. <laughs> Somebody's been watching Mandalorian. No, watching Star Wars lately. Eh, I just finished here. the entire thing up to... Uh, Last Skywalker still waiting on the release of the DVD. But, anyway, don't forget, check out our friends over there at Hockey Locker for all your hockey, figure skating, and refereeing. Spend money. You. They like it when you spend money. F hockey, figure skating, and referee apparel. Um, also, you can get uh, fan gear. And, uh, by the way, everybody, 